Hello, folks. Are you managing all of the resources uh, in your environment, making sure they're backed up? Do you have good reports? Do you know how to optimize? Well, today we're going to we're going to talk about this with Aruna Samandra, uh, Principal PM for the backup team. So, if you want to want to stay tuned. Hi, Aruna. How are you? Hi, Pierre. I'm doing good. How about you? I'm good. Welcome back to the show. Um, last time we talked about an overview of Azure Backup Center uh, as a one-stop shop for all things backup in your environments. Um, can we drill down a little bit more into reporting and optimizing? Because we touched on that very, very quickly in the first video. So what capabilities do we have for that? Sure, Pierre. So Azure Backup Center has backup reports integrated within it, which let you actually see information which was historical over a period of time, look at trends, and look at insights within it to then go take optimization decisions. Let me actually show that to you in the UI in terms of how it's easy to do that. Okay. So if you, again, you come into Backup Center, your single pane of glass for all things backup, and on the left side, under monitoring and reporting, you see an icon for backup reports. Okay. So the backup reports view shows you aggregated information across all of your estate, where you are using uh, Azure Log Analytics to send in all your historical information. If you look at the top level tabs, you have the summary information that is visible. Uh, information, drill down information on different pivots, like the backup instances, usages, optimization tabs, um, etc. So let's look at, for example, the summary tab. The summary tab gives you uh, information across your entire estate to say, OK, for the last 90 days that I am choosing to show the report information for, how many backup instances were there? What was the cloud storage used? What was the breakup between the different types of workloads that were uh, getting backed up um, and other relevant information? So right there, one report that gives you that entire uh, information. Other interesting information could be that, OK, I want to do a drill down on usage. The usage tab gives you information about uh, all of the workloads that you are protecting with you know, detailed uh, information in terms of each of the workloads that were there. And it gives you trend information. How did this, you know, how is the graph and the trend looking like over this period of time? So you can look at that. Another interesting information that the usage tab gives you is also information about for every individual backup item, what was the cloud storage that was consumed? so that you can then use this information on the number of protected instances and the cloud storage to use it for your chargeback and your billing accounting um, related scenarios. Okay. We, we have another tab called Optimize, which shows you information in terms of optimizations that you could use. So you could go into policy optimizations and schedule optimizations. And for example, if you have SQL databases that you are backing up within virtual machines, um, then using a daily differential backup along with a weekly full backup is more cost effective than using daily full backups. So in the optimization tab, it will show you which of these workloads are you using with what kind of policy. Um, and then you can actually take corrective action to you know, change your policy so that you can actually get some cost saving. Okay. And also, while we're talking about optimization, um, does Azure Backup Center give me the capabilities of optimizing my backup storage? Yes. So one of the capabilities that we have right now in preview is the capability for archive tier uh, for certain workloads. So if you have virtual machines or you have SQL databases which are running in virtual machines, uh, we have a capability that will allow you to choose recovery points that need to be stored for a long-term retention duration, more for compliance reasons. But chances of you restoring it are very, very low. 
then you have an option to actually move those recovery points into archive storage, which comes at a much cheaper cost. Um, and uh, that capability is going to go GA soon. And in the future, what we also want to do is inside the reports, you can actually look at uh, how you're backing up, how you're restoring, and based on that, look at optimizations that will guide you and say, if you use archive storage for these workloads and these policies, you're going to actually be able to save a lot of costs. That's perfect. Okay, great. Okay, so we've talked about uh, reporting on and all of the different ways that we can optimize our backup uh, environment for all of our Azure resources. Uh, Aruna, thank you very much again for taking the time to uh, to enlighten us with all of those capabilities that we should uh, be looking at uh, to help us in your environment. And again, everyone, uh, all of the details and links about the documentation and the resources available are going to be down here in the resource in the video description. So, Aruna, thank you very much for joining us again. Thank you and so much for having me. All right, and uh, we will see you in the next episode of Azure Unblogged.